I can't do it. Alright. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to T3G. My name is Full Throttle. I'm Cerebro. Extended Warranty. And today we're doing a review of the seventh son of the seventh son. <laughs> seventh son of the seventh son. Yes. I thought it was the seventh son, but apparently it's just a seventh, seventh son. son. Yeah. Which is, eh. Which turns out to be, like, really the least important part of the whole movie, anyway. Yeah, they didn't really focus on them that much about it. <laughs> yeah, it was just, like, right at the beginning, like, Seventh Son, cool, come with me. Mm -hmm. And that was pretty much, like, once one other time it's mentioned. It's just, you figure out it's important, but you don't really know why. Yeah. Because even, really... even the stuff that he said was supposed to be, like, he was like, oh, you're supposed to have seven times the strength of other men. Like, they didn't address why he didn't. They didn't address, like... Yeah, he... But we don't even know if, if that is, or if he was just egging him on. Right. I guess yeah. Uh, this that's also true, cause uh, true true grit. Jeff Bridges was uh, true grit. Yeah. Jeff Bridges. He I uh, I think he finished True Grit and he didn't like clock out. He just went to the next <laughs> yeah. movie. He was just like, oh, you want me to play? Like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep this here. He's <laughs> yeah. so like, oh, I gotta play a bitter old cowboy type. I'm just I'm just kind of like a sorcerer knight guy. Okay. I mean, he, yeah, he just like that brought that whole good. back. He just yeah. brought that whole thing back. He did play that bitter good. Like he though. was a drunk. Yeah, he was. He was drunk. cocky. He yeah. was. Yeah. yeah, he had a lot of a lot of shit talking. So he'd like, seen some things. Yeah, yeah he'd seen some he'd things. Seen some he things. hadn't cut his beard in seventeen years, so no, or his, his like yeah. little goatee just or whatever. Little little goat. Hat. I don't. That's that's. I, I think it's a goatee because it's not connected. Yeah. So would that be goatee? I think it's still called a goatee. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a Frenchman goatee. Tangents. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so, well, let's let's go into basically what we thought about the movie and make this as fast as possible because I think everybody agrees on this movie. Yeah, it was okay. Uh, it was an okay movie. I liked. I like. It, it's kind of like a, a B plus fantasy movie. Um, it, it's fairly generic in a lot of ways. It's you know you got you got the the stalwart hero. He, like he's not really into being the guy, but he's got to be the guy, so he ends right. up being the guy. <laughs> like that's pretty much that's pretty much like every fantasy movie ever. Although, when they introduced the guy, he wanted to be more. He yeah, he was like, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna do stuff. Yeah, and then it's like, here, we're gonna go do stuff, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> then he's like, I don't know if I want to do this stuff. That was. It's just like actual dream fulfillment. And then it's like, man, I don't know. Right. I don't know. And it. The budget definitely like decreased throughout the movie. Yeah. Like you got some really cool stuff at the beginning, like really good effects. Uh, they had, what do they call them? Ghasts uh, yes, in the yeah, forest. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of like like really like wraith type things, and they look like it looked really good. It looked in place. It didn't look kind of you know. Right. It didn't look CG. But then when you got into more and more of like dragons and stuff like that, just like every time somebody morphed into a dragon, it just got like not as good. Every scene. Yeah. There was weird stuff with the costuming, too. Like, I thought overall the costumes were really good, but then they also had these kind of comedic effects things. Like, uh, Julianne Moore's in it, and she's the, like, head witch, and her costume is really cool for the most part, but I just thought her, like, claw hands were just kind of ridiculous. It was kind of pointless, yeah. yeah. Well, not even that. I mean, if she you uses watch, them once. But, but if like... you watch at the end, though, when she's going like this, when the shot's behind her, and you can actually see the face, you can see that they're, like, almost attached. Well, they are. Yeah. It's supposed to be armor. Right. Because well, yeah, you first, can even but, see the tail is, like, a piece of armor. Well, see, but, like, I don't understand how she controls it like a tail, though. If Magic. It's, She's yeah, a, she's the I witch. Guess. She she's the H W I C. I, I thought it was more about. I thought I, I honestly when I watched her do that and like the whole claws thing, I always kept seeing like she goes into human form, but then like you when thought she, it was like remaining. Well, not just dragon. remaining, but like it's more like when she's always, which she was always pissed off. But every <laughs> time she got angry and angry, it seemed like it would come in more. So yeah, I always thought yeah, maybe it was part okay. of her. Okay, uh, I can see that because like her, like at some point her arms weren't as dark, and then they got darker, and it just felt like it all merged mm -hmm. together. So I, yeah. that's why I always and thought, I mean, and they did that with the other ones. Yeah. But then when you saw behind it, then it was like. Oh, they're kind of, like, attached on there. Yeah, I mean, so. like, it was cool, because when she'd get really mad and she'd choke someone, like, she had these talons, and they looked really cool, mm -hmm. but but sometimes it was like, these are my puppet fingers! Yeah, right, yeah, <laughs> yeah it, that's true. It's it's that, that budget, It's it, back to that budget, like, we talked, we, we looked at the numbers right after the movie ended, and it was budgeted, budget was, ni budget, budget was 95 million, where, you know, you gotta assume at least another 15 to 20 million for marketing and advertising, 
Because they um, did do some advertising. Yeah, there was that. definitely a lot, a lot of you know commercials out there. They did that weird thing with the like animated trailer, which I thought was strange on YouTube. Where were these commercials though? Because like I, I don't see, I don't go YouTube. on YouTube enough. They, there was a lot of pre-rolls. I felt like it kind of, it just, it showed up and I saw a commercial, like I might have seen a trailer for it right. somewhere and I thought, oh that looks kind of cool, but I, I had no idea what the movie was about. I don't feel like it was really... At least to me, I didn't get the marketing, but I kind of live under. See, a rock. like you, well, yeah, well, you watch videos via Facebook, and a lot of the advertising doesn't go oh, through Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Um, so especially like the pre rolls, mm -hmm. uh, you don't really see a lot of pre rolls when people post YouTube videos okay. on Facebook. Um, it, it, bridges, we we spent obviously we spent a lot of time on YouTube, um, and like you know I watch I was watching Philip DeFranco, and like every episode I watched. It had the the animated trailer for Seven Sun, and I was like, "Oh, this is cool." But at first, the first time I saw it, it was kind of like, "This is like a really weird like somebody's high school animation project," mm -hmm. and it's like the budget seems to have been disproportionately divvied up because you had Julianne Moore, you had Jeff Bridges, you had the guy what was it the guy from. Um, uh, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, Jon Snow, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Like, you had some big, you had Jim Hansu, which is who's an yeah. amazing A caliber, yeah, and, and they're expensive people. The girl too, well, because Julianne Moore has this kind of like henchman girl, the the other witch's mother, mm -hmm. her, so her sister, yeah, yeah. like her one sister. of her sisters. I've seen her before. I don't know in what, but I've seen her. I think she's kind of one of those like oh Eastern European vampire type chick number five. Like uh, I've seen her. But, vampire, like, vampire yeah, number five. I don't remember. Her I want to play vampire anywhere, number five one day. The budget was definitely pretty. big big for the actors. Mm -hmm. and yeah, actors and like, I think it, it ate away that 95 real fast. Like, yeah. probably 40 to 50 went to budget for, for the for the actors, and then it's like, oh, now we have to make a movie. Mm -hmm. And, like I said, it just, it got worse and worse. Like, the, the location shots were cool. Some of the environment, uh, 3D, like, the stuff that was clearly 3D, uh, was not bad, but what you mentioned was that a lot of the stuff got blurry. Well, yeah, like, uh, they were using definitely different filters in this. Some of them were dark filters to darken up the scene, uh, and which took away from some of the graphics, and then also there was a, like, a blurry filter. I wouldn't necessarily say, like, blurry, it's misproportional, but you can see, like, the edge of the screen got a little blurrier for, for like, uh, more fantasy feel, but the problem with that is, is once again, it takes away from really good, uh, um, visuals. So, it's just, it's, it's things that I think they... I think that was more of a, okay, so our budget isn't good enough to make these visuals as crisp as we want it, so if we can do this to the movie, we can make it feel good enough. So yeah. that's kind of what it was. We, we can make it good enough. We, we can't necessarily make it good, right. but we can make it good, good enough. enough. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, I think internationally what it ended up, at least the... the open internationally was ridiculous. Uh, so in the States, it said about $16 million. 16. They made 99 16. total, so that means internationally oh, they made 80, 83 million. Right. It's, okay. it's ridiculous. It's, it's ridi well, like, it came out. It made... came out in kind of a rough month, especially since you still had American Sniper has been dominating for weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So even uh, listen, Super... SpongeBob SquarePants beat the crap out of this movie. Exactly. So... SpongeBob SquarePants came out, and that's that's that kids movie that. There's always going to be that money. The people are going to take their kids to see yeah. movies like that. So that's where that money went. So I think it ended up being that Spon the SpongeBob release weekend and Seven Sun also released the same weekend. So did Jupiter Sunday. Mm -hmm. It was SpongeBob, SpongeBob, American Sniper, yep. which was like four or five weeks old at that yep. point. Jupiter, then Sunday. Jupiter Ascending, then which Seven made Sun. sixteen million yeah. their opening weekend, which right. they they lost it. And then Seven Sun, and it was just kind of like Seven Sun. I think it, it was like, like a mention. million on the opening. Yeah, weekend. that's it was like a mention. It was like an honorable mention. But I mean, what an inter like for international, isn't that just anything outside the? Anything yeah. outside the U.S. Yeah, I, that's not really surprising then, because that's a lot of countries. Yeah, <laughs> no, a that lot is. Of yeah, to do eighty-three million <laughs> anything outside. Well, yeah, do, but a lot we... of movies don't. Okay. But a lot of movies don't. That's the thing. A lot of movies don't grab that secondary because that's that's considered the secondary market. Right. So a lot of a lot of uh, country a lot of movies don't do that like uh, Pacific Rim was the first one that like really exploded overseas especially in China and why we're getting a second one. yeah that's why we're getting a second Pacific Rim movie because like here it didn't do really well like it didn't I don't even think it made budget here did it I think it um, might have just no, no it took a long time for them to even get close to like a decent number yeah like they they I think it may, may have just matched their budget okay. but like overseas it like tripled that yeah 
Yeah, so like they made a ton of money overseas, but like like with this movie, they it better stay in theaters for another solid like month and a half, which it won't. I'm gonna just do my real quick say here. Um, basically, the movie is okay. Yeah. It's not <laughs> terrible. It's not bad, but it's not good or it's not great. So it's okay. Uh, I would see this in the Dollar Theater or yeah. wait for it on DVD. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, if they rescripted the script about five times, uh, got a better director, <laughs> and uh, you know didn't work with a 15-year-old visual visual. Uh, person, I think overall this would have been a great movie, but because of all the it had it had the its potential. issues, it, it had definitely potential. had its potentials. But the script was not good. I mean, they had a lot of great actors, and some of them did a, a, as good of a job I think they could have given the script that they had. But like they said, Jeff Bridges. I've never seen True Good, but you know they say Jeff Bridges basically had the same <laughs> role as it True Good. It basically Grid, is. Uh, which they almost is, had the know, same facial hair too. It was kind of funny. So for me. I think everybody did what they could. Um, even even the main guy, the seventh son, right. was even all right. I think uh, he did. I overall, think, did I think he job. did a decent job. But yeah, the script needed to be redone a few times. I'm assuming uh, because I don't know if just one like revision of that script yeah. right. would have done it. Um, definitely, the I wouldn't say the directing of the movie was bad, but. The after stuff that the director would have been involved in was not good. So like you know making, oh well our visuals aren't great. Uh, let's you know let's do this. Let's see if we can make it good enough. Like that's bad. That's not a good director. Yeah. Like I could tell you for sure Zack Snyder wouldn't have done that. So yeah. no that guy's a visual but Zack Snyder master, would have also so. gotten like a seven hundred million dollar budget. That's so. true. That's they're true. Like, they're like Zack. Listen, uh, make this better than everything else. Yeah, but <laughs> that's that's for me overall it's an okay movie. I say either Dollar Theater or, or Yeah. Wait uh, wait wait box. for the rental. <laughs> wait <laughs> for yeah. the rental. I would do the second run. Yeah. Um yeah, I think just like uh better costuming, a little bit mm -hmm. more work on the costuming would have been good, maybe keeping it like not as modern as some of the stuff was and right. having it not as and just cuz there was so much detail that was put into the costumes that just the kind of weird stuff that made it look awkward, I think, could have been worked on. Right. And on top of that, um, what was the other thing? Uh, I just, I thought a lot of the fight scenes were well choreographed, but they were really over the top. Like, crazy over the top. A little too much for me. Um, you know, the kind of stuff where it's like, oh, you know, well, you, like, fall down on this rock and you would have broken your back and died, but you're still okay. You're totally Oh, fine. yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, because they jumped off that cliff. Um, but that was like a solid 200 foot yeah, drop. Yeah, no doubt. And they were cool. But In the water, you, but still, like, 70 oh, yeah. feet is like your max. Like, I'm okay with that even. Like, I, I will suspend my belief for, for jumping into water. For the water, right. But if you're like, you know, when he's fighting with that. But the scene where he falls through, yeah, where he like lands on the rock. Yeah, it's like back on rock. Oh, you're but fine. He did but go he through, is magic. <laughs> and he did go through, um, if you watch it, the scene, he does actually fall through trees that are, I guess, down there yeah. too. Right. He like falls through branches. So that could have slowed just, it down, it but still, I get where. And especially where she's with from. Jeff Bridges in the beginning, because so they start out in this bar, and for the most part, the kind of character that he is, he is sort of over the top and sure. weird to begin right. with. Yeah. And so, like a lot of the stuff he does is very exaggerated and cartoonish. But even in the beginning, it was very much like he was talking like, "And this is how I talk." Yeah, that's true. And it true. got better that, that, afterwards. He didn't do that any true. other time, but that's it was true. just in the bar. It was really yeah. weird. Oh yeah, because because yeah, he, he beat the dude up. He had his had his mug filled up. Beat the dude up. And he says the trick is not to beat him with the mug. The trick is not to spill. And then he pours a drink on the guy. Yeah, so it was kind of weird because at the beginning it was very exaggerated <laughs> like yeah. that, and then I was glad that it didn't continue because I would have hated the movie if it had done that. But right. it was just so sort of weird that just for that first part he was like that, and then it didn't happen. It's like Wolverine else. Origins where Gambit had a accent right at the beginning, and then he didn't. <laughs> Yeah, what do you think? Just matinee? It was, it was, yeah. I would say matinee at best. At, at best. best. Like, I wouldn't pay more than $5 for this. I happen to have already had tickets pre-bought, so, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, maybe I'm a little mad about paying $10 for these, right. but. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say second run, wait for the DVD, wait for Netflix. I mean, this is not something to, to rush and catch in the big screen. Like, it's, it. It'll probably look better on your 50 inch, honestly. Right. Yeah, I, there's <laughs> some movies that I would even like if they're if they're not great, I would still buy them on DVD because I mm -hmm. enjoy the fantasy sure. of it. 
But I don't think this is even one of those movies. I might catch this at like the the five dollar bin at Walmart. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if it's five bucks at Walmart. <laughs> catch it, catch it on like a, a one ninety one one ninety nine Black Friday That's sale. Right. <laughs> it's like pay for this in the theater so you can see the trailer for Jurassic World. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> no. Fast and Furious. Uh, Fast seven. and Furious Seven. I mean, there was definitely a few trailers before, but yeah, I, yeah. yeah, that's pretty much covers it. I don't know. Uh, that's don't pretty know much it. Yeah, there's really not much more to say about this movie. Yeah. No. no. A entertaining enough. Yeah, it um, was. I mean, you're you're gonna be entertained in the dollar part of it, in the dollar theater. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dollar Isn't theater. Be fun, good for fun for the whole family. Yeah. Except for the F word, which you had a problem with. Yeah. Which I, I just, have a problem it, with. So this is set. Let's say mid 16th century. They never clarify that, but it's roughly that time period, and he says fucking witches. No. Like but that. it is the and only it was, time. And it's the yeah. only time, which means that it was just put there to emphasize his hatred of witches, yeah. which is fine in context. Like, in the 1600s, that was not a thing. So, just like it wasn't, you know, with ancient Greece in, in Clash of the Titans. Yeah. Like, that just wasn't a thing. So, it, it, it's not, it's just out of place. So, it re that really bugged me. I, I just, that wasn't cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. That happens a lot. Lazy writing, and I think that goes back to what you said about the script. script. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's throw throw a uh, th <laughs> throw a uh, uh, Kevin Smith throw, throw Kevin Smith some money and have, have him rewrite it. You yeah, know? right. <laughs> you know, he'll, he'll he'll throw a giant spider in it. And it'll be good. Good, yeah. good. But yeah, that's about it. I don't think we have to go much further. No, that's, that's pretty much it. That's uh, Appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed our review. If you did see the movie, share your thoughts below. Make sure you check out t3gtech.com. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, as always, I have been Cerebro. Full throttle. Extended warranty. For T3G and guests. <laughs> <laughs> Signing off.